Michael Chavello, Frank Trigg and Hans Thompson with you. Nakajima's got to let these hands go early. He goes to the liver. Kills over the hand to the right. Sticks the jab in the face of Buakau. This is a nice start from Nakajima. But he cannot allow Buakau to find the rhythm with the leg kicks. Good save kick from Buakau. At least early, Nakajima's staying nice and tight inside so he can't get leg kicked. He's smart. Liver shot from Nakajima. Buakau, who made history in 2006, becoming the K1 Max's first ever two time champion. And he won it in 2006 predominantly with his hands. After his previous title had been won predominantly with his knees. Good seep kick. I love the way Buakau uses the lead leg seep kick. He digs the balls of the feet painfully into the opponent's stomach, as he's doing yeah. here to Nakajima. Those kicks hurt like hell. The first couple were just to get some space because he was getting too, too crowded to get his leg kicks off. Now they come with his vicious point. That appears to be Nakajima's strategy. His corner keeps telling him forward, forward, forward. It has to be the strategy. There is no other way. You cannot go on the back foot against Bullock You've got to come forward and go to his jawline. They tie up against the ropes. No chance to Bullock to get his knees off. He is wearing the Praja, the Muay Thai armbands around both biceps here. They are blessed by Buddhist monks in Thailand. Part of the superstition that Muay Thai fighters do carry. And he executes a Muay Thai dump, which under Muay Thai rules would score extremely highly for Borkow. Again, drives that teeth kick, the front kick, into the guts. And he lines up a lead leg round kick to the head. He tries to pull the head down for the meat and break knee. Look at the leg work here of Borkow. He is so fast and powerful, Frank. Jeez, Nakajima's doing a good job of countering every kick so far, but even catching him and blocking him on your arms is eventually going to wear through. This is Bulgao's first ever fight outside of K1 for a long, long time on loan here to SRC for tonight's Soul of Fight. A real treat for the SRC fans to see the former two-time K1 Max Fans champion. And he's working everything off the lead leg here, Bulgao. Nothing off the right leg so far. Look at the step up, front kicks again, and the whipping high left round kick. Nakajima continually going for the liver shot, but I have never seen Buakau truly phased by a liver shot. His conditioning in his midsection is phenomenal. Overhand right by Nakajima. Jesus. Buakau so quick with that lead leg. Everything has come up the lead leg. And it was a great first round for Nakajima. He's here to fight, Frank. Smart, smart round two. He's stepping inside, he's staying close and not giving any space at all. It's the only way he's able to beat him. If he gives any kind of space, allow him to start getting rhythm on his leg kicks and give him rhythm on his head kicks, he's gonna finish the fight quickly on him. Nakajima's doing very well of stepping aside and staying tight. And uh, I, I don't think Bormak is, is used to having anybody that close to him all the time. So we'll see how he adapts the second round. Look at the high left round kicks there. He does not even switch up on the lead leg round kicks. That is phenomenal leg work from Borkow. Look at that teeth kick that he transitions immediately into a round kick. Then he goes downstairs to the legs. Just tuck the elbow against the liver shot. And a beautiful counter right hand. And another high left round kick. We'll be right back with more HDNet Fights, Sengoku Sola Fight Part 2. Welcome back as HDNet Fights presents Sengoku Sola Fight Part 2. Single-handed clinch, knee and release, only allowed under these modified rules here tonight. Another beautiful digging team kick, then he kicks to the back leg, Buakau. They tie up against the ropes here in front of our commentary position. No chance for the knees there from Buakau. Oh, cracks it onto the humorous bone, but there was nothing funny about it. And the referee gives a bit of a slap and a tickle. Eventually, Nakajima's going to get tired of jumping in. He's going he's to slow down a little bit, and that's what Burkow's waiting on. 
Thai fighters like Buakau will slam those round kicks deliberately to the forearms to break down the arms, causing the opponent to drop the gloves and then loop over the top with a knockout kick. And again, he cracks away to the forearms. And once more, it's all work off the lead leg of Buakau. I don't think he's thrown his right leg so far in the fight. I haven't seen it once that I can recall. He's a one-legged fighter, and that one-legged fighter is simply picking apart Nakajima here in a brilliant display. It is just violence off that lead leg from Buakau. He's quick, he's tenacious, he's fast, and his shin is getting in the empty hole. Wherever the, wherever the arm is soft is where he's hitting it, or wherever the rib is wide open. Boom, again to the liver section, and Nakajima ties him up. But his inside game is not apparent here of Nakajima. He's got no knees, he's got no short punches on the inside. And Buakau again tenderizes the midsection. Nakajima caught him with a nice knee getting in. I mean, there's nothing. Nakajima's just diving in. He, you, like you say, he's not doing any dirty boxing, he's not doing any short punching. He's coming and tying up. Referee just warning Buakau for excessive clinching here. Again, digs the tape kick into the midsection. Nice sticking jab from the tie. And he winds up that round kick off the lead leg. He's got more kick than a chorus line. Has Bullock-Cow Port Promick here in the second round. What is Port Promick waiting on? Because he's only using his left or his left leg. Why, when's he going to use his right leg? Unless he's carrying an injury to his right leg, Frank, it may be the reason why he's only fighting a single leg at the moment. He hasn't thrown one kick off the back leg. And again, he uses that left leg, turns Nakajima into the corner. Now a nice little popping knee to the outside left thigh. 30 seconds. Now he's found his rhythm, he's found his pad. You can tell now he's getting a little more excited on the brakes. He's really trying to get inside now. It really has been a credit to Bulkow how he went from a full Muay Thai fighter over five rounds under full Thai rules to fighting in K1 Max's much more quick style tempo fights. And he oh, became a two-time champion. He was so dominant earlier in his career that K1 Max actually changed up the rules to favor other fighters over Bulkow, but still he adapted, still he evolved to be able to bring his hands in to win his 2006 title. Those were amazing days. You could argue that that's what they're doing here in Sengoku too. Instead of having him in the Muay Thai rules, they wanted to even it up a little bit. Hans, if this was under full Muay Thai rules and I've commentated Buakau under full Muay Thai and under K1 for years, it would have been over inside the first three minutes. Look at these round kicks here, off the lead leg, just cracking to the forearms time and time again of Hiroki Nakajima. And Bulkow relaxed in the corner here, Frank. Yeah, very relaxed, very calm, almost like nothing has really happened. Nakajima doesn't look too worried either. Like, he almost feels like he must be in this fight still. I, I wonder if he's just trying to get the moral victory of not getting knocked out or getting blocked oh, no, no. during this fight. Third and final round. Bulkow's lead leg has been succulent. And he goes to work with it again. Looking for a catch and sweep there, Nakajima. Step through knee, was nowhere near the target. Bulgau clinches up with him. And Bulgau gets on the inside. He'll let the referee break them and reset himself. No knees happening here. And Bulgau, the beautiful Muay Thai dump. And wow. a follow through. That, that was a pleasure to watch. It was per almost effortless on his part. Knee to the midsection from Nakajima. The muscularity on the back here of Bulkow and the muscularity in the trapezius and the deltoids. He is just a specimen. Double jab from the tie. Tracks away with that lead leg round kick. Three in a row. He's putting on a show now, Bulkow. He fakes the kick. And there it is. One, two, three. And another takedown. Jeez. The anticipation just immaculate. He almost knows where Nakajima's going. Four steps before he even gets there. This is Buakau merely entertaining the crowd here. It is textbook 101 modified tie from Buakau Purpranik. And again off the lead leg goes to the liver section as Nakajima has no answers here. 
Just diving in and holding on, diving in and holding on. He's got to be hurting. I mean, he's got his arms got to be getting killed. And this is really Bulacow, folks. If you've seen his K1 Max career, you know this is him at only 50%. He is not going 100% here on Nakajima. He is putting on a show. He is turning it on for the massive crowd here at the Ariake Coliseum. Again, he fakes the round kick. And he whips it upstairs with such speed. He switches starts now Jeez. to Southpaw. He'll throw the lead leg as a real leg. Boom, there it goes again to the forearms. Doubles up on it. And he puts on a knee guard. Beautiful Muay Thai in place here from Bulaka. You get kicked twice by him and then you get knee guard. You can't do anything back to him. And Bulacow is enjoying well, is himself. 30 seconds. Nick. 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 Are you enjoying this, Frank? It's your yes. first time yeah. seeing Bulacow live. I'm really impressed with his speed and the fact he's only using one side of his body. And you know that's the only leg he's going to kick you with and you still can't stop it. And look at the takedown again there from Bulacow. If out. it would have been mixed martial arts, he would have ended up inside the half guard. <laughs> oh, what? 10 seconds. And again, he's going to dump in, but the referee saves Nakajima on that occasion. End of the round, end of the fight. It's all one-way traffic. Wow. And Bulacow should get career victory number 195. That is an amazing record. See again the lead leg here at Borkow. Look at him enjoying himself. One, two, three. Nakajima is going to be a very, very sore man tomorrow morning, Frank. Yeah, arms, shoulders, you know, both legs, his ribs. He's going to be beat up all on one side of his body. Jajakia, 30 28 for Borkow. Jackie Chinose, 30-27 for Bullock.